Hi, my name is Dr. Joshua Light. I perform otologic surgery and I specialize in stapedectomy. I'd like to explain to you about the condition of otosclerosis and the surgery of stapedectomy that helps correct it. This is a diagram of the ear. This is the ear canal cut in cross section and then you see the three bones of hearing, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes, which you can see is shaped like a stirrup. When we hear sound, sound energy comes down the ear canal and vibrates off of the eardrum. This in turn vibrates the malleus, which vibrates the incus, which vibrates the stapes. The stapes goes in and out almost like a plunger and it sends the sound information down to the cochlea. That's how we hear. In the condition of otosclerosis, there is a bony overgrowth that occurs around the foot plate of the stapes. The stapes becomes frozen and when it's frozen sound energy becomes blocked and can't be conducted to the inner ear. This is called a conductive hearing loss and is the hallmark of otosclerosis. In stapedectomy surgery I lift up the eardrum and under high magnification separate the incus from the stapes and then use a laser to perform small cuts in the two arms of the stapes. That portion of the stapes bone is then removed. At that point a small opening is made in the foot plate of the stapes called a stapedotomy. A piston is then inserted which loops around the incus and goes down through the stapedotomy to the inner ear. At that point, sound energy comes down, vibrates the eardrum, the malleus moves, the incus moves, and now the piston goes in and out which transmits the sound energy to the inner ear. This surgery is able to restore hearing and eliminate the conductive hearing loss of otosclerosis. I hope that this helps to understand the surgery of stapedectomy for otosclerosis.